can a child get autism or be on the autism spectrum without the mother taking Tylenol? The answer is yes. So that in and itself is not the whole cause. That just proves the point. But again, no doubt it absolutely ups the risk of that happening. Here's why. Tylenol, the acetaminophen, disrupts a folate pathway. Folate is a typical B vitamin that we need for something called methylation, which affects how our brain works. It affects neurodevelopment and autism is a neurodevelopmental disease or condition. So it affects that. It affects neurotransmitters. These are chemicals that your brain needs to function normally, but it also affects detox, how we get toxins out of our body and even out of our brain. So it has a lot of different functions and even works as an antioxidant and it parallels something called glutathione because folate is part of this methylation pathway, which is part of detox. So it helps with the brain. It helps with the development of the brain. It even protects DNA and it also can help move toxins out of the body and detox. So now Tylenol disrupts that. 